the Tabacheco Development Project. In 1975, the World Bank funded the Tabacheco Development Project, which attempted to provide aid in the African nation of Lesotho by improving livestock management. It was based primarily on a report claiming local people relied heavily on primitive farming customs and did not sell their cattle at market because they had little knowledge of the economy. Project leaders therefore recommended not only creating more roads, markets, and other types of infrastructure, but also educating farmers. However, the report had not been accurate. In his 1994 analysis of the project, The Anti-Politics Machine, James Ferguson of Stanford University pointed out that people in the region earned most of their income from wage labor rather than farming and were already familiar with agricultural markets. The Tabacheca project generally failed to reach its goals. According to Ferguson, the aid workers who were in charge were unfamiliar with the local culture. They saw cattle as products to be bought and sold in a cash economy. Whereas cattle owners in Tabacheca were largely unwilling to sell cattle for cash because the animals served as status symbols, particularly for men. Cattle were also a form of security to be kept in case the owners encountered unexpected financial difficulties. While Ferguson's work dealt with Lesotho, it offers lessons for development projects worldwide. All too often, outsiders come in with only limited knowledge of a region and attempt to fix complex problems by offering technical solutions that do not address the underlying causes. Not surprisingly, it is unlikely that such solutions will offer a true long-term benefit to the people they are intended to help.